are the four. I have some hand weights out there. We'll start by warming up and get moving from there. Knees are in to your chest. Give yourself a hug. Add some circles on your low back. Change direction. Take it around in the other direction. Long stretch, reach for your fingers to your toes. There's that stretch, get long. Feel free to arch your back. Point, reach. Take it off to one side. It's your banana stretch. Arms and legs go off to one side, stretching the side of your body. Now you take it to the other side. You are going to bring everything back to the center. One knee comes into your chest. Here's the hug. Extend the other leg out, press the heel down, get long. Knee goes across the midline. Here's your chance, back, shoulder, chest, stretch. Start waking it up. It's a little, probably a little tight yet until we warm up a little bit more. Knee comes back to the front. Press the bottom of the foot towards the ceiling. Add a bend. Push into the ceiling. Add a bend. Do that one more time. Push up. And now soften the ankle. Add some ankle circles. Change direction. Figure four, ankle goes over the knee, quick little lift up, open the hips just enough to start waking them up. Long stretch, reach from your fingers to your toes, get as long as you possibly can. Reach, 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 reach. Banana stretch, we take it off to one side. This is to stretch the side of the body, keep your shoulders down, your hips down, lengthen the side. Take it off to the other side. Bring it back to center. We take our knee into our chest. Make sure you switch sides. There comes the knee. Now we take the knee across the midline. Open up the hip. A little opening from the chest, the back, the hips. Bring it back to the center. Hold on behind your knee. Push the foot to the ceiling. Add a little bend. Push and bend, push. This time we keep the leg up, soften the ankle, add your ankle circles. Change direction. Figure four, ankle comes over the knee, bring it in, give yourself a nice little stretch through your hips. Feet go down to the floor, windshield wipers here, feet are flat, drop the knees to one side, then to the other. Bring your legs to the center, add a bridge, arms are by your side, press into your feet, lift your hips, shoot them away. And now bring your hips down. Do that again. Hips go up. Shoot the tailbone away. Bring it down two more times. One more time here. Bring your hips halfway up. Hold them halfway up. Fingertips go towards the ceiling. Now we rotate the upper body. Take it off to one side. Hips keep a little hover. Bring it to center. Take it off to the other side. One more time. Add a little twist to one side. Add the twist to the other side. Hips can come down, arms come by your side. It is your floor, angels. Take your arms up and around so you can stretch through your arms. And arms are gonna sweep up and around. 
Do that a few times, waking up the shoulders a little bit here. Finish this next one. Bring your hands behind your head. Add a couple crunches. It's a little exhale lift. Release it down. Exhale lift. Release it down. Exhale lift and release. One more time. Arms can relax by your side. It's your pelvic rock. Arms by your side. Press your whole back into the mat. Everything is secured to the mat. And then relax the back. So it's a little press everything into the mat. And then a little release. Here's that full press down. And release. Press down, release, keep it there, single leg circle. Your back leg can be straight or bent. I'm keeping my bent. You're taking circles on the ceiling. We're starting to bring attention to our core. Right here is that stability. Hips stay level. Change direction with the circle. Take the leg in the opposite direction. There's that swoop across your midline and total stability through your center. Switch legs, opposite leg comes up. Circle around one direction. And if you find, find yourself being a little wobbly, press your arms down, zip up the core. And now you change direction. Finish that one. We are going into the hundred, wherever that is for you. I like my feet down. I also like to set myself up into my hundred position. Here's your count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release it down. Give yourself a little break. Look off to one side. Look off to the other side. Here's your long stretch. You're reaching from your fingers to your toes. We are going to roll ourselves all the way up, chin to chest. Bring yourself up once you're there. Stretch out, take your spinal stretch, drop the chin, round through the spine, give yourself a stretch here. Sit up a little taller, we're taking spinal twist, arms can come in front, feet about the width of your mat. Little twist to one side, twist to the other side. Twist to one side, twist to the other. We're still using our core. Little break for your back as we take our twist side to side. We'll do this one more time each side. When you finish it, go into your spinal stretch. Give yourself a nice stretch one more time. Chin drops, round through the spine. You're going to bring yourself up. Now get your weights ready to go. We're gonna roll back down to the floor. We're gonna start with our chest press. We're going into our strengthening work right here. Have your weights ready to go. We are going to do a couple different exercises. So if you like to use different size weights, have them ready. Maybe you start up and bring the weights down right here. 
chest press. We're gonna push our arms up and control it down. Press up and control down. There's your up and down, up and down. Push, release. Now we are gonna do a total of 20. Up and down. Option, knees over hips if you choose that variation. It means we have to use a little bit more core. You do not have to add the legs if you don't want. It just changes the exercise a little bit. Keep the work in the chest. Keep your hips level. Here's your five, four, three, two, one more time. And then you can bring your feet down, your weights down. We're going into chest flies next. When I do chest flies, I switch out my weights a little bit. If you use the size weights that you have, keep the ones you have in your hands. Here it comes. Weights up, and then you open to the side and squeeze it up. So now we're working on that. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Again, we're going to do a total of 20. We keep going. Option for the next 10, knees over the hips, if you choose, but you don't have to, you can keep your feet down. Otherwise, right there, you're going to center yourself and add your open and squeeze, open, squeeze. Five more here. Five, four, three, two. Feet come down, keep your arms up. Now we're gonna go into pullovers. I'm gonna keep my two weights and I'm gonna take them overhead here. You can set one weight down, fold the ends of the weight, or you can do like I am and hold on to your two weights and take them overhead or whatever variation works for you. Check in with your form as you do this. Now you wanna zip up. We wanna avoid popping the rib cage out. So if your rib cage likes to flare, you will focus a little bit more on bringing the core in and together. We're gonna keep going here. I'm going to give you the option Knees over hips for the last 10. That's up to you. You don't have to take it. Just remember, watch your rib cage. Find that stability as you go over and pull, over and pull. Five more. Five, four, three, two. Feet can come down, tricep press. We slide our elbows down next to our rib cage and you press right back up. Elbows slide down, they press up. There's your down and up, down and up. Slide your elbows down, press them up. 
four, three, two. We are going to keep our arms up here. I'm taking you into tricep extensions. Little diagonal of your arms, bend the elbows, bring it up. So here's our last exercise for our triceps here, and then we'll move on. There's the bend of the elbow. Keep the work in the back of the upper arm. Five. Four, three, two, one more time. Carefully bring your weights down. Set your weights off to the side. Stretch out your arms. And that is going to be different for all of us. I'm going to open up my chest. I like to stretch my triceps out. Whatever feels good, that's where you take it. Wherever it feels good to give yourself a nice little stretch here. From here, we're gonna move right on to the front side. We're gonna meet in a sphinx. I'm using the sphinx to kind of stretch out the front of your body, but we'll start bringing attention to the back of our body. Gracefully flip yourself over. Sphinx is first. Stretch out, think forearms down, pull the head forward, slide the elbows back. Give yourself a stretch here. You lower yourself down. It's a reach and pull. Tension for your lats here. Press the feet down, hover the upper body, pull the elbows back. Reach to the front. Pull back, reach and pull, reach and pull, out, pull, five, four, three, two, now this time, sweep your hands by your thighs. Locus, legs come up, hold it here. Cobra, here's your stretch, elbow, shoulders back. Chest lifts, keep the shoulder blades back and down. Give yourself a nice little stretch. We're lowering ourselves down. You're taking your head to your hands. Rest your forehead on your hands. Press the tops of your feet down. Add a lift of the upper body. Lower down. Little lift. Lower down. Keep pressing the feet down. There's your lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Five, four, three, two, cobra, or I'm sorry, locust, hands to your side, lift your legs. Cobra is coming up right here. Take yourself into your cobra. Give yourself your stretch wherever it feels good. Lower yourself down. Last move on the front side is going to be swimming. Take your arms out in front. Hover your arms and legs. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Lift up. Today, as you lift your legs, think of lifting with the inner thighs. That's a little bit of an inner rotation as you lift the legs. Keep going. Here comes the locust. Sweep your hands back. Hold the locust. Cobra, hands by your ribcage. Shoulder blades back. Bring yourself up. Take a little look side to side. 
lower yourself down, set yourself up, sphinx pose. Forearms are down on the mat. Give yourself a stretch here. This should feel good. Reach through the top of your head. Now set your arms up because we're going into a low plank. I like my arms in a little different position and I'm also starting on my knees. I'm gonna keep my knees down and get my upper body situated for the low plank. Once you have the body ready, you can lift the knees, hold your, hold your low plank. Now we tap one knee down, lift it up, tap the other knee. Now, if you choose to keep your knees down on the mat, you would lift a knee and then tap down. So now we're gonna tap and tap. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold your low plank. Now we're gonna come up to a high plank. I'm setting my knees down to bring my upper body right here. Come into your high plank. Hold the high plank. Hold it just a little bit longer. We're gonna hold it 10 more seconds here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, downward dog, lift your hips, press back. There comes your stretch, wherever it feels good for you. Knees can come down, child's pose right here. There comes your stretch. Give yourself a nice break wherever you need to stretch. That's where you're taking it. Maybe you can adjust your arms to get a nice stretch down the back of your body. You're going to start bringing yourself up. We're going to go into our rows. I'm going to grab a heavier weight. We're going to do some rows. We're going to do some bicep curls. Pick the size weight you like for rows. You're going to be in this lunge position. And just check to see that you're aligned here. You gotta make sure your hips are level. And there comes the pull and the release. Pull, release. So even though the focus is the upper body, it's a good chance for you to check your alignment. Think knee over ankle. It still tracks in the same direction as your toes. You have your hips squared. You have your core engaged, and there's your pull, release. We are doing a total of 20. We have 10 more to go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, set your weight down and we get ready to take it to the other side. Here comes the shift. First, get yourself in a nice setup for your lunge position. And then when you're ready, there's your pull and your release. Up and down. Same idea here. You're set up in your low lunge. Your knee is over your ankle. Your toes face forward. That means your knee faces forward. You have your hips squared. Ten more here. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two. You can set your weight down. We are doing bicep curls while we're here. I use a little smaller set of weights. You're going to see me switch to a different size. One in each hand, we're going to kneel high. Once you're there, there's your full bicep curl and bring it down. Add a little squeeze of your glutes. That's so we're upright. Elbows are glued to our waistline. And you have your curl up and you're down. There's your up and down. We keep going. We have our total of 20. Here's your countdown. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more time. Then go ahead, set your weights down. You can set them off to this side. We're gonna give yourself a stretch wherever that is. It might be opening the chest, stretch your biceps, wherever you get a good stretch for your biceps, back for your back, maybe you do a hug. Clamshells are next, that's where we're going. I am gonna use a weight today for my clamshell. That's always optional. And I use my, pick the size weight you like to use. Bring yourself off to the side. Like I said today, I'm using a weight. You still have your really good form. You have your weight near your knee. And there comes that open and close. Open and close. Take your time, press the bottom leg down, keep your hips stacked, and there's your open and close. We're sticking with that higher number of reps. Ten more here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, there's your last one. You're going to set your weight to the side. We're going to bring ourselves up side plank. Now I'm going to do my side plank on my knee. We're going to add some lot side leg lifts while we're there. So first it's going to be your side plank. Set yourself up. Lift the leg. And then we're going to kind of tap the leg down and lift it up. So I'm adding a little side leg lift in your side plank. Now, if you are a really good side planker, you're going to be on your feet stacked or staggered. I'm staying here. There's your five, four, three, two, Finish that one, and then you can bring it down. We're doing clamshell on the other side. And then we go ahead and do our side lifts again. If you chose to use the weight, bring the weight with you. Set yourself up. Weight or no weight. Stacked hips. 
open and close. Open and close. There's your lift, control. So with the weight, you still wanna have that control on the way up and down. You still wanna make sure that you're keeping your hips stacked. It is so easy to let the top hip fall back. There's 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. You have one more. Then you can set the weight down. It is your side plank. Like on the other side, I will be having my knee down. We start with the side plank. Pull the side plank. And then we have leg goes down, leg comes up. Leg goes down, leg goes up. So a little side leg lift as you do this. Five more. There's five, four, Three, two, there comes your last one. Bring your hips down. We're gonna go right onto our backside. Take a windshield wiper. Go ahead, relax your hips. You should have had some good effort happening in your legs. So go ahead, give yourself a little side to side, stretching out the hips. Bring everything to the center. Here comes your bridge. It's one more stretch here. Arms by your side, lift your hips. Stretch here, make it feel good. Because now we're going to move on to some more leg and core work. Hands are going to come underneath your hips. Hips are coming down on your hands. Slide one leg out in front, it's straight. The other leg is bent. This is your crunches. You're taking your exhale lift for your crunch and bring it down. Exhale lift, release it down. It's your up and down, up, up and down. Four, three, two, Finish this one, keep your upper body down. You can take your hands out from under your hips, quadricep work here, slide your leg up to 45, slide it down. Now all this work is gonna be for your quadricep. Toes need to face the ceiling. Knee needs to face the ceiling. Now we think, slow it up. Slow it down. Hips stay glued to the mat as you slide up, slide down. Slide up, slide down. Lift and lower, lift, lower. Bring your foot down, take a bridge for your stretch. Foot is on the mat, lift the hips, give yourself a stretch, use it to stretch out that quadricep you just worked. Hands are coming underneath your hips. Hips are coming down on your hands. Opposite leg slides out, we start with our crunches. Here's your lift as you crunch and bring it down. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Exhale, release down. 
Three more. Three. Two. Hands come out from behind your back. And now we do our quadricep leg lifts. Slide the leg up. Slide the leg down. Slide up. Slide down. We control it up. Control it down. Lift. Lower. Lift. Four. Five. Four, three, two, foot comes down, take your bridge and use that, stretch out the quadricep, feet are down, hips go up, shoot the tailbone away, I'm using this specifically to stretch out the front of your thighs, your hips, Get a nice stretch here. Hips are coming back down to the floor. Extend one leg out. Now we're gonna do inner thigh from this position, which means you're gonna let your toes fall to the opposite wall, arches towards the ceiling, and now you lift the leg, you bring it down. And the focus is on the inner thigh. So now you're lifting 45 degrees up, and slide it down. There's your up and your down. You're keeping your hips centered. There's five, four, three, two. Now go right into a figure four for your bridge. You're gonna take the leg over, hand behind and take some crunches across. You're gonna take your shoulder across and bring it down. Take it up and bring it down. I'm tucking in some oblique work here. That means your hips stay square to the ceiling. Just the shoulder blade is lifting up so you can take that little off to the side. We have five, four, three, two. Relax the upper body. Here comes your single legged bridge. Arms are by your side. And we take our lift up for your single legged bridge up and tap it down. Lift up and tap down. Up. And down, up, and down. Now check your form. You still shoot your tailbone away. Most of the work should be in the hamstring, the glute of the bottom leg. There's your lift and lower. Three, two, and then go ahead, release it down. Take this foot down to the floor. You extend the other leg out. We have inner thigh on the other side. Drop the foot, let it fall open, and then you lift up and lower down. And the focus is the inner thigh. Check your hips. They stay squared. Lift up, lower down. And it doesn't need to be a very high lift, just enough to get the work in the inside of the thigh. There's five, four, three, two, figure four here. It's going to be your crunches across. Take the ankle over, hand behind. Here comes shoulder blade up. Really sit down. Shoulder blade up, really sit down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Five, four, three, 
two. Single-legged branch here, arms by your side. Set up your bottom foot, and here we go. There's your lift and your lower. Lift, lower, up and down, up and down. Five, four, three, two, finish this. You can bring your foot down, take some windshield wiper legs side to side. There's your little drop side to side as a release. You're bringing your knees up over your hips. Fingertips face the ceiling. And now opposite arm, opposite leg. You can either tap it out or you can make it long, whichever one works for you. There's your extension. Bring it up, out, bring it up. There's your out. Make sure you're engaged to your core. Four more. Four, three, two. Well, this time, same leg. It's going to take the same arm, same leg out. Switch. Other side. Same arm, same leg. And bring it in. Same side. Bring it in. Same side. Bring it in. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Finish that one and then take a bridge. That's a chance, stretch through your hip flexors, bring your legs up, give yourself a nice release right here. Feel the stretch, maybe engage the glutes a little more. Press your heels down, pretend to drag them to your shoulders, activate your hamstrings, glutes a little bit more. Relax your hips down. Take your knees up over your hips again. Open your arms to the side. We have our hip rolls. You're going to roll your knees off to one side. Pause when you get there. Bring it to center. Switch sides. There is that little pause. Bring it up and switch. There's your roll. Pause and switch. There's the roll. And bring it up. We'll do this one more time on each side. One more time. Hands are going to come behind the head. Bicycle here. Now you're taking your shoulder blade up and bring it to center. Lift the shoulder blade up, return to center. Now that lift comes from the core. We want to be soft. Fingertips are soft on your head. Take your thumb by your jaw, your ear, release it. That helps so you don't tug on your head. You want to let your obliques lift the shoulder blade up. Lift and center. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one more time. And then bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Take some little circles on your back in one direction. Take your circle in the opposite direction. Toes are going up towards the ceiling. 
Make a V with your feet, arms are by the side. It is your corkscrew, so you're taking circles with your feet together on the ceiling. The feet make a V. That is so you don't use your hip flexors and you take it around. Change direction, take it in the other direction, take it around, take it around. One more time. And now we're doing a single leg drop. You can drop one leg down and bring it up. Drop it down, bring it up. Now, today, if you want to add a little more, I'm going to lift my shoulders up as one leg goes up. And then you switch and you switch. Mm -hmm. So now I'm thinking reach up towards the ankle. Get a little more pour as you reach and reach. There's four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees in. Give yourself a nice hug. Take your circles on the back. Take it in the other direction. Hug one knee into your chest, extend the other leg out. And can you make the stretch a little bigger from where we were when we started today? Hug the knee in, extend the other leg out and away. Knee is coming across your midline. Keep your chest open. There comes the spinal twist, chest stays open, shoulder stays down, and give yourself a big stretch through your hips, your chest, your back. Bring it back to center. Hold on behind your thigh, push the bottom of the foot into their ceiling, hold it here. And now really focus on a hamstring stretch. To make it better, you hold behind the thigh and then you gently bring the hip into the mat. And you're gonna deepen the stretch in the hamstring. Soften the ankle, add some ankle circles in one direction. Add your ankle circles in the other direction. Figure four, ankle is coming over the knee. The knee can come up and we're gonna hold this stretch here. Give yourself a nice stretch through your hips, your glutes, relax your tailbone down to the mat. That'll help lengthen your spine. Bring the foot down to the floor, open your arms to the side. Here comes your twist in your figure four. Take it off to one side. Feel the stretch as you take it off to the side, chest opens. And now we gently bring it to center, off to the other side. And you'll feel the stretch in the other direction. Bring it back to center. Both your knees come into your chest. Here's your hug. Take little circles on your back in one direction. Circles in the other direction. Keep hugging the opposite knee into your chest. The leg goes out. So we're coming back to our one leg stretch here. Extend the leg out, push it down and away. Give the biggest stretch you can for the front of your leg, the back of your hips. Arm opens to the side, knee goes across. There's your spinal twist. Bring the leg back to center. Hold on behind the thigh, push the bottom of the foot into the ceiling. 
Now hold on and gently bring that hip into the mat. You'll deepen the hamstring stretch. It's a small, subtle move. Soften the ankle, add your ankle circles in one direction. And now your circles in the other direction. Figure four, ankle over the knee. And when you're ready, you would bring the leg up, add the stretch through your hips, wherever it works for you. You might keep it smaller, you might make it bigger. Bring the foot down, add your twist off to one side. Arms can open, knees drop off to one side. Keep the chest open to the ceiling. Bring the legs off to the other side. Bring your legs back to the center. Here comes happy baby. Knees are going to come in towards your armpits. Bottoms of the feet can go to the ceiling. Your choice. Maybe you hold on to your feet. You might want to hold on, I don't know, wherever it feels good. Low side to side rocking to loosen up the back a little bit more. There's your back massage. Take a long stretch, reach from your fingers to your toes. How long can you get? And we're gonna bring ourselves up into a seated position, however you wanna get there, go for it. Once you're there, we'll take a nice spinal stretch. You're gonna take your feet out in front of you. So I usually do it as a hamstring today. Think spinal stretch and drop the chin to the chest, roll through your back, wherever it feels really good for the back of the body, that's where you're going to take it. You're going to sit up tall, slide the right leg in and over, sit up tall, hug the knee, let the head touch the ceiling, and then you have your twist. Bring yourself to the front. We switch sides. You're going to slide the leg in. Hug the knee, sit tall, and then twist. Bring yourself to the front. Bottoms of the feet come together. It's your butterfly bound angle. Give yourself a nice stretch right here. Start bringing yourself all the way up. We are going to have a comfortable seated position so we can stretch out the upper body. We did weights today. We want to make sure we keep the mobility movement through our upper body. Lower body's comfy, wherever that is, and goes behind the back. Drop the ear to the shoulder. Feel the stretch down the neck. Make sure you're looking forward versus up towards the ceiling. Changes the stretch. Lift the head. Relax the right arm. Left arm comes up. Ear drops away from that arm. Bring yourself up, drop the arm, give yourself a nice shoulder roll, get that mobility back in there. Open your arms to the side, lift your chest. Give yourself a big hug, right arm on the bottom. Here's your chance to stretch through the back of the body. Drop the elbows, drop the chin. Look straight ahead, lift the elbows. If the fingertips go up towards the ceiling, go for it. If not, no worries. 
Open your arms up to the side. Here comes a hug, left arm on the bottom. Elbows drop to the chest. Chin drops. Look straight ahead, lift the elbows, fingertips go up if you want. Open your arms up, clasp your hands behind your back. There's the stretch after all of our chest press, chest flies. Open up, give yourself a big stretch here. Arms open to the side, fingertips go to the ceiling. Tricep stretch, right hand drops behind, elbow goes to the ceiling, fingertips go up, left arm drops behind, elbow to the ceiling, fingertips go up, press your palms together, bring your hands down in front of your chest, keep pushing, stretch out your wrist on the way down, flip your fingers down to the floor, back of the hands towards each other. There's your stretch of the wrist in the other direction. Clasp your hands, add your figure eights. Bring your hands to your lap. Take a look over your right shoulder. We're stretching out our neck here. Look over your left shoulder. Look to the front, drop the chin to the chest. Lift the chin to the ceiling. Look straight ahead. Drop your arms, take a shoulder roll. Here are your inhales. Big inhale, reach up. Exhale, blow it out. Two more times, reach up, big inhale. Exhale, blow it out one more time. Big breath, fill the line, blow it out. And thank you all very much.